Yo guys, welcome to the channel today. I'm going to be doing a 80 pack opening of XY Evolutions. This is a set that I was not playing PTCGO or Pokemon in general at this time. So this is a, a set that I'm looking forward to because I probably don't have very many cards, uh, full arts, EXs, or anything like that from this set. So for me, it's entertaining. I hope you guys enjoy it as well, just to kind of see what I get here out of these packs. That's a cool card. I like the reverse hollow, the way that it's done here for, for these uh, Evolutions cards. And Conversion 3 makes no sense, because he doesn't really even have an attack then. Conversion 3, choose Grass, Fire, Water, Electric, Psychic, Fighting, Dark, Metal, Fairy, or Dragon type. The defending Pokemon weakness is now that. So he still has to retreat and get out of the way. So it's... that's really clunky. And Eradicate. But Porygon is an interesting Pokemon, and he's always been an interesting Pokemon. Spirit Links are cool. And Reverse Hollow Charmander. Electrode. These were the cards that when I first started playing, I was playing with the original base set one. So I'm familiar with all of these cards, and it was kind of cool, a little uh, nostalgia factor uh, to see all these cards reprinted and things like that. I mean, this card is obviously still very viable. He's uh, very good at countering Buzzwall. So it's, it's cool that some of the cards from this set are relevant. Maybe just that one. I'm not sure. I'd have to kind of look around here as we pull some more of them to see. Reverse Hollow Zapdos, nice. It's a really hard hitting attack. I mean, very energy hungry, but very hard hitting. I know I've seen this used and utilized in a couple of decks, maybe like a Tapu Koko deck or something along those lines. A Lolan Golem GX, I, I know. I think I've seen him paired with that. Reverse Hollow Energy Retrieval, cool card there. Dugong. Try and get this done as uh, quick as possible. Not trying to just fly through, but I know almost anybody who plays Pokemon is going to be familiar with these cards here. So we really shouldn't have to elaborate or explain a lot of these cards here. That's very cool. The Reverse Hollow, Double Colorless Energy, another Mewtwo. I wish they made the uh, Reverse Hollow Double Colorless back when I started playing. Those are really cool. I'd like to get my hands on one of those in real life. Reverse Hollow Machamp. He's pretty cool. I wonder if he'd be viable in the uh, expanded format. Yeah, it's not bad. It's really not that bad. Especially if you threw him with the uh, Deancey Prism Star and strong energy reverse hollow fighting energy and very cool uh, mega pidgeot ex with the mock cyclone i like that card i like the uh design that they came up with for the mega pidgeot we get the here's where we do our twisted giraffe neck heads the nido king break with the toxic drill attack another electrode there the breaks were interesting. It's kind of kind of interesting that they're they're not doing those anymore. Not very many were were very good. So that's why I feel like it's kind of a missed opportunity that they could have brought those back for the one one prize card attackers. I don't know, you can let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments about the, the break cards and them getting away from doing the breaks and us moving to basically just a GX format. Far-fetched. Reverse Hollow Poliwag. Dugong again. Re 
reverse hollow steel energy. Far fetched again. Reverse hollow lightning energy. These are cool. I'd like to start throwing some of those in my decks. Uh, those are pretty cool. I just love the retro uh, vibe. Takes me right back to my childhood when I first started playing this game. Reverse hollow dug trio. And another Mega Pidgeot EX. I can't complain about that because, like I said, I do like that card. It's a little bit disruptive for the uh, opponent with that Mox Cyclone. Reverse Hollow Eradicate. And regular Rare Eradicate. The Reverse Hollow Psychic Energy. And the Starmie. Starmie's still a, a widely used card in certain certain decks there. Reverse Hollow uh, Porygon. Dugong again. We're burning through these here. Already burned through over 20 packs. We got the Ninetales Break. And the Blastoise EX. The Reverse Hollow Slow Bro Spirit Link. And the Clefairy with the Metronome. It's still a good attack to choose one of your active, uh, um, your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. So it's sort of like a watch and learn. It's just a little bit uh, more costly to get that powered up. Reverse Hollow Nidoran. Regular Rare is Doug Trio. Reverse Hollow Drowsy, and the Venusaur EX. It's cool that they have him in like the uh, the shadowless look on the card there. Reverse Hollow Charmeleon, Dugong, and Flying Pikachu. Very cute artwork on that. That is one card uh, I would like to own in real life is that Flying Pikachu. The Revive Reverse Hollow. And very cool the way that they updated the Hollow on Ninetales. Very cool. It's very unique. Reverse Hollow Seal. And a Beedrill. Actually, not a bad card. Reverse Hollow Ghastly and the Mega Slowbro EX. Pretty cool. I've always thought the design of Slowbro was very cool. He's just very derpy. And you can't hate on him for being so derpy. He's just doing his thing, man. Doing the best he can. Reverse Hollow Charmander, another Beedrill, Reverse Hollow Onyx, Eradicate, and Imakuni's Doduo. I think it would be really interesting if PTCGO came up with a format that was the older uh, evolutions only sort of set uh, to get that uh, retro gaming feel from the playing. Just kind of to take you back for some of the for some of the old school people like me who didn't get a chance to play as much back then, uh, being young, not not being able to drive and go to big tournaments and events and things like that. Uh, you kind of missed out on, on playing competitively with these older cards. And I think it would be really cool if they made a section or a segment uh, where you could play competitively either online or in real life for some of this 
uh, older stuff. I know that there is the legacy online, but not a big uh, community for it. So I think if they made it a new thing and made it exciting and, and hyped it up, it would be really cool. It would be a good break from getting into expanded and just standard. And I know that there's the legacy, but just something a little bit niche, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it could work. A reverse hollow polyrath. And the hollow rare Machamp. Reverse hollow Brox Grit. Another Beedrill. Only two EXs so far. Wait, that's a lie. We've had we've had more than that. We've had the two Mega Pidgeots, the two Mega Slowbros, uh, Blastoise, Venusaur. So actually, not bad. It just seems to me they don't seem to be as important because they're they're so uh, I shouldn't say irrelevant, but just not widely utilized. I guess in, in my opinion, when I say only the two, it's probably because I, I have such a favoritism for that uh, Pidgeot. I've always thought he was a, a good card from the Gen 1 games that I played with him on my teams. I'm learning some of the uh, special abilities like Fly. And there we go. That's a really cool card. The Mega Charizard EX with the Crimson Dive. I know I've got the uh, the full arts as well. That's my, f my very first regular art, uh, Mega Charizard. I can't have old school Pokemon without a Charizard. Reverse Hollow Ninetales. Another Beedrill. A Reverse Hollow Professor Oak's Hint. And I guess we can see why this was a very unpopular set and a lot of people uh, discredit it just because it was uh, a prey on the nostalgia factor for people to buy into this set. The Reverse Hollow Chansey, that's a very clean card. I like that. I've always thought Chansey was a good Pokemon as well. The Blastoise EX and a Flying Pikachu again. Hollow Rare Ninetales. Surfing Pikachu this time. Such a throwback. Such a throwback. Reverse Hello Devo Spray. It's Bird and Turn. Burn and Turn here. Gyarados Hollow Rare, that's a new one. Playing Pikachu. First Hollow Magmar. Doug Trio once again. Reverse Hollow Full Heal. Remove all special conditions. Kind of out of date as Big Molasada came in and can actually heal all those special conditions and also heal 20 damage. And the Slow Bro EX. So we pulled two Megas and the one regular EX. 
First hollow star, you. B drill again. First hollow fire energy this time. Eradicate. There we go. Three rares in this one. We get the Raichu reverse hollow, the electrode regular rare, and the flying Pikachu. I don't know if there's any trade value on that on the online. First hollow sand shrew, another bee drill. Good old far fetched. First hollow machoke and another mega slow bro. Army, and they here comes Team Rocket. Used to be a very sought after card in the olden days. Star me there, reverse hollow Pikachu. Nothing that's really wowed me. I, I would have liked to have seen the uh, Pidgeot EX in full art. Or just the regular Pidgeot EX. Or the full art Mega Pidgeot EX. Blastoise EX again. First Hollow Weedle is new. Closing in on the end here. Reverse Hollow Switch, cool. And another Beedrill. Last 10 packs. Arcanine for the rare. First Hollow Charizard Spirit Link. Hollow Rare Magneton. It's an interesting thing about his weight when he goes from uh, Mag uh, Magnemite to Magnezone or Magneton. His weight just uh, goes up by ten. Which is interesting when he's only creating two more copies of himself. Machamp Break. He's not a terrible card if you can get him out early and get him going. Star me. First Hollow Beedrill, another slow bro. So derpy. First Hollow Poliwhirl, Doug Trio. Hollow Rare Clefairy. First Hollow Maintenance. Maintenance was a staple card in the very early decks. It was very important. Another Hollow Rare Clefairy. And this is the very last pack here. We get the Reverse Hollow Nido King. And a Good close here uh, for this last pack. We get the Mega Charizard EX with the Crimson Dive, 300 damage. Pokemon does 50 damage to itself. Protection Cube will actually negate that and make him a very 
powerful attacker, which can be powered up with Kiawe. But that is all 80 packs of the XY Evolution series here that we've opened today. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate if you guys subscribe and leave some comments down below if you like what you see. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.